Scorpio. So I got a few messages for you while I was shuffling. Um, I actually saw the Nine of Swords in my pre-shuffle. So you could be struggling with sleep right now. Um, you could be uh, trying to improve your sleep. I'm hearing as well too. I heard the phrase sleep hygiene. I'm not sure if that's really a thing, but um, I take that that you could be trying to like um, implement certain routines during the nighttime to improve your sleep patterns. Um, also, I saw the sun card too. So if you have any stress or anxiety, especially from the nine of swords energy, um, it's all going to work out. So you just have to stay positive, Scorpio, okay? Um, but the energy that I got for you in the month of August, we have two of swords, okay? So swords energy. So you're heavily in your mind right now, okay? Uh, underneath the deck is page of cups, all right? So possibly this is about another person, okay? Um, or this could be somebody thinking about you. Let's see what your external energy is for the month. This could be a person, place, or thing, okay? For your person's energy, they have seven of cups, okay? So it says opportunities, wishful thinking, choices, illusions, searching for purpose, and daydreaming, okay? So you could be dealing with another water sign. That could be a fellow Scorpio, um, a Pisces. That's usually my Pisces card. Um, or you could be dealing with the Cancer, okay? At the bottom of the deck, though, you have the Five of Cups, all right? Is that the Five of Cups? Six of Cups, I'm sorry, excuse me. So, uh, happy memories, reminiscing, innocence, joy, nostalgia. Nostalgia, I'm sorry. Nostalgic? I think that's how you say it. Um, you could be reminiscing. Well, this is their energy. So this person could be reminiscing heavily about you. This could be somebody that you know from your childhood as well as too. Again, Scorpio energy. Okay. So this could be somebody, this could be another Scorpio, or this could be a reading about you versus yourself, Scorpio. Okay. You versus your higher self, especially with the page of cups. When I saw that, I thought about you wanting, uh, or needing to love yourself more, right? Practice more self-care more self-love especially with that um nine of swords coming out at the end all right you could be having sleepless thoughts because of the person that you're thinking about all right or a situation you could have a lot of options right now a lot of opportunities okay or you could whoever you're considering you feel like they have a lot of opportunities maybe you feel like they're moving on from you all right in the middle we have suffering okay past past affecting the present lack betrayal victim let go of the past i was thinking of that when i was thinking of the nine of swords i've seen during the pre-shuffle um sometimes that's energy of you needing to let go after the nine of swords of course is the ten of swords it's uh traditionally a painful ending in that particular suit or in the tarot deck in general i should say um but after that uh ending is always a new beginning all right so it's a positive if you look at it that way all right so you guys are both holding on to the past i don't know if you guys know each other scorpio or um if this is for my past relationships or things that stem from the childhood because we had the six of cups here all right and that's kind of like my mercury retrograde card that's my inner child card as well too um personally as a reader we are a mercury retrograde too as well if you're watching this in the month of august um so this could be why you're uh this could be why all these emotions are being brought up once again all right um at the bottom of the deck you guys have south note comfort tone i don't know if that's a typo you guys i got these cards maybe like a few weeks ago but comfort zone resistance fear of the new clinging to the old ways or situation which that's literally just what i said all right that's crazy um you could have taurus in your chart too all right, I'm here, moon rising, possibly like a south node in Taurus as well, too. That'll be confirmation that this reading is for you. All right, so there's a need for you to step outside of your comfort zone, all right? I actually say that message a lot in my past Scorpio readings, and I got truly mean, okay? So this is like confirmation probably for the third time, all right? So... If this isn't a sign, Scorpio, there's a need for you to step outside of your comfort zone, all right? It's actually holding you back, all right? It's causing you and your person to both be um, stuck in suffering and in pain. Um, 
your person they could be I don't they could be overwhelmed by their options opportunities or past relationships things may have been said I don't know if that was from you or from another person all right but for you it's it's a comfort zone thing more than anything it could be mutual energy okay but I feel like it's more for you though Scorpio just to be honest all right let's go ahead and see what the rest of your um you could be wanting to give somebody your heart, Scorpio, all right? Or somebody wants to give you their heart. Um, I mean, that like a uh, metaphor, okay? Uh, symbolically, that's what I'm trying to say. Um, for your challenges, the hermit, all right? Getting outside of your comfort zone, Scorpio. All right, you could have Virgo in your chart, possibly you or your person or both. All right, let's see what your potential outcome is. I'm going to come back to the hermit. You keep on going within to receive enlightenment. I'm hearing that you already have all the answers that you need, Scorpio, all right? There's no need for you to seek seek within. Pertaining to, to this situation at this uh, point in time doesn't mean that you have to exit Hermit mode forever, all right? But just you, you've already been enlightened in regards to this, all right? You already know what steps to take, all right? Uh, if not, then the uh, the cards are encouraging that it's time for you to leave this energy if you if you haven't left it because this is your challenge. So this is kind of what's blocking you is that you're um, not stepping outside of your comfort zone, um, sticking to yourself, um, not really wanting to express, not really wanting to go towards somebody. All right. And I say you, Scorpio, because this is a reading for Scorpio, unless you're a cross watcher watching this. All right. So. Uh, when we want change in our life, only way the change uh, starts is within and then it goes outward. All right. So it always starts with self for your potential outcome. Okay. We had at the bottom of the deck of the traditional tarot deck, the six of cups we have coming out for your potential outcome, the six of cups again. All right. So confirmation. All right. <laughs> Um, I see the Ten of Cups, all right, so this person brings the emotional fulfillment, or you feel that they will, all right, or they have the potential to, I should say, all right. Let's go ahead and get another card for your um, advice. You have a lot to say to this person, uh, Scorpio, that you have been, like, bottling up, all right. You have very fond memories of this person, all right? They could make you uh they could make you feel like a child again. Alright. If you don't know them from childhood, you could, alright. But if you don't know them from childhood, I feel like that they could make you feel like a, a child again. Or it could be an age difference, alright. They could make you feel younger possibly. Alright, or vice versa. This could be mutual, alright. You guys have a lot of fun together. I'm hearing as well too. I got two cards for the advice. We have the five of swords. And the judgment all right so there's time to make a judgment call there's time to tap into your higher self scorpio uh release regrets negative thinking uh stop stressing yourself out and go towards your higher self all right go towards god um go towards enlightenment all right you already have it you already have all the answers uh, you seem like you've already made the decision. You could be wondering if this person has made the decision or if they're focused on other options or other opportunities. It doesn't have to be like another person romantically. It could just be like work, uh, family, school. It could be a plethora of things, all right? So you could be seeing that the person is out weighing their options, all right? You could feel like maybe the person is grounded as well, too, in their thought process. That could be you or... Or both, I'm not sure, but that's what I pick up intuitively. All right, it's a beautiful message, though, Scorpio. It seems kind of short. And then at the bottom of the deck again, after shuffling, we have the moon. All right, so a lot of hidden emotions that need to be expressed, Scorpio. All right, let's get one more card before we close the reading, my loves. All right. Since it was so short, I'm gonna get you uh, three cards. All right. I just saw the engagement ring. It slipped over. It hasn't popped out, so I'm not gonna take it. But maybe you could want long term with this person. This person wants long term, and you could be wondering if this person wants long term with you. I don't think we ever touched on the two of swords, but we kind of did, though. There's a decision that you need to make, all right, in regards to uh, it's how you want to move forward, all right. I think your decision. It did. I don't have the two of wands, but it kind of gives that. 
but uh you're stuck in your mind i think there's a need for you to step into the two of wands which is uh past but a decision between your past and your future your comfort zone and adventure and that's kind of what i get intuitively but you're kind of in the in your mind still trying to make a decision you don't want to make a blind decision you feel like you don't have enough answers or enough information about the person about how they feel um if they're really set on you as well too all right i'm hearing this could be pertaining to career or family friends all right but i'm not really getting that but if it resonates for you like that then i would definitely take a look into your uh, south note north note energy all right maybe you guys have something that's uh similar in your chart in regards to that all right and that'll be confirmation for you we have kisses girl talk and i'm gonna get one more that's kind of like a random one at the bottom of the deck we have karmic relationship fleeting triggers turmoil resentment lessons letting go and loving you all right so maybe this is somebody that you've walked away from or maybe that you've learned a lot from this person all right or maybe you feel like that they weren't a good fit because it was so much turmoil or so much fighting but you guys were actually learning a lot of lessons with each other that's why i was like that um learning a lot of lessons in regards to your life not really towards a person all right so this was about you understanding yourself more finding yourself more um scorpio okay i just want one more card okay i had a lot fail mirror okay exactly all right so you found your reflection all right so it says kisses unconditionally loving giving and receiving affection falling in love all right so that's how you and your person uh, feel about each other or that's what needs to happen all right you you guys need to show each other unconditional love be more affectionate more uh receiving of each other's affection and be open to falling in love and expressing that to each other scorpio okay then you have girl talk all right even if you're not a girl um and i always see this as a yes i've seen the sun card too so positive thinking is really important during this time scorpio we have a uh, time with friends move on happily single living in the moment having fun all right so that could be your energy right now okay so you could be happily single right now you or your person or both that could have been a blockage somehow in the connection before i don't have it in the cars but since it says that on that particular card and then we have mirror it says mirroring each other self-image relationships reflect our wounds yes introspection all right so this in retrospect this has actually been a very healing connection for you whether you know that or not scorpio okay um it was so much conflict and t tension because it was bringing up a lot of things from your past a lot of your wounds all right that need to be healed whether you knew that or not all right i'm gonna get one more card to clarify girl talking and i'm gonna end the reading my loves all right All right, we got sunglasses, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out. All right, so either you or your person are spying on each other or there's some trust issues as well, too. And then at the bottom of the deck, we have the Phoenix, new phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, change mind. All right, so i think that says it all scorpio all right so rise like the phoenix that you are and transform all right so that's what i have for you my loves until next time